Today, we will talk about how to care for hypoestes. Let's have a look at the details. Hypoestes phyllostachia, more commonly known as polka dot plants, add a splash of color to your regular decor with their pink and green leaves. While you can grow these plants outdoors, they're even more popular as an indoor plant. These plants have a short lifespan and only tend to stay in bloom for around a year but they're easy to take proper care of in their prime. With a few basic gardening supplies, you can help keep this freckle face plant in great condition. The first method is light, water, and temperature requirements. Display your polka dot plant in bright and direct light. Set your polka dot plant near a southern or eastern facing window, where it'll get consistent low light throughout the day. Set these plants on a surface two to three feet behind this window, so they can get partial shade without any direct sunlight. Unfortunately, direct light can cause your plant to stress and fade, and may make the leaves curl. Keep your plant in a humid, 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees centigrade area. Try to keep your plant in a temperature-controlled space with high humidity so it can thrive. This plant's native habitat is in places like Madagascar, Southeast Asia, and South Africa, which are likely more humid than your average living space. Water your plant when the top 1d2 inch or 1.3 centimeters of soil is dry. Your plant should only have moist soil if it's overflowing with water, the roots can rot. Mist your plants multiple times each day. Go over the entire plant with several squirts of water coating the leaves with fine, tiny water droplets. And, the second method is pruning, fertilizing, and troubleshooting. Prune your polka dot plants every week. Polka dot plants need regular, weekly pruning, or else they can get pretty overcrowded. Find the two smallest leaves growing along the ends of each stem, and pinch them off with your fingers. Provide organic soil for your plant with good drainage. Check if your plant's default soil drains well, or if water tends to sit on top of the dirt after a while. If necessary, replant your polka dot plant in a new pot with well-drained soil made with organic ingredients, like peat moss. Look for organic potting soil in your local garden supply shop. Sprinkle an organic fertilizer over the soil once a month. Give your polka dot plant a boost each month with a small amount of fertilizer in its container. Sprinkle the surface of the soil with some diluted liquid fertilizer around the same time each each month, so your polka dot plant stays well nourished. Check the side of the fertilizer bottle to see how much water you need to dilute the product. Polka dot plants do best with a balanced fertilizer or a product where the nitrogen phosphorus potassium ratio is even, like 10 10 10. Replant the hypoestes if there's root rot. Take a closer look at your plant's roots if it doesn't seem to be growing very well. If the entire root system looks brown and soft, you won't be able to save your plant. However, if there are still white, healthy sections of the roots, trim away the rotted sections with sharp scissors, and replant the polka dot plant in new soil. Try to replant your polka dot plant within a few hours, so it has a better chance of recovering. Your plant may get root rot if you water it too much. Spritz the leaves with fungicide if you notice powdery mildew. Powdery mildew looks like a white coating on your plant and can be pretty common on polka dot plant leaves. Spritz the leaves with a fungicide, which can help get rid of the unwanted mildew. Take a few extra moments to spray over the bottom of the leaves, too. Double check the fungicide bottle for more specific instructions and precautions. Don't use a sulfur-based fungicide for this sulfur isn't good for plants living in humid conditions. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.